Alright. Sorry if anyone hears any like background noises. I got a new headset and the mic is a little little sensitive, so if you hear uh, fish water splashing in the background, I'm sorry. Day by day, be doo doo. <laughs> Shut up. Give me your vehicle. Oh, yeah, your wheel, girl. I'm taking this shit. Especially when the girl swallow in pills. Yeah. Mm. Blowfish. We're gonna finish the triads and liberty once and for all. Eight balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer. So if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight ball says it's real sensitive. The slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory will open its gates for a dust cart. So you can drive right in. Park up between the gas canisters and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget. <laughs> <clears throat> I want the rain mackerel. Nothing low budget. You, you make it look like a Michael Bay movie up in that bitch. <laughs> Mamma mia! Pachas con chili. All that we got to do. <clears throat> you know, everyone keeps giving Grand Theft Auto San Andreas shit for stuff, and I'm just like, I'm, I mean, I'm glad I played this game to kind of let them do updates that they need to on the bigger ones, because this was obviously the the smaller of the games. This is the first of their, you know, 3D third person, you know, not above the top camera view, so. <clears throat> Certainly is nice to play this one first. Let them do the updates on San Andreas and stuff before I play that. Uh, hopefully the I'm sorry it takes super long to fucking make these videos and stuff and get through a game. If I had better internet I'd be able to upload videos quicker but <clears throat> this is the quality I get. 12 megabytes per second internet. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, right, right. I'm like, what the fuck? Right. Triad assholes just popping shots. They're like, hey, I see dickhead driving in there. Shoot him. He fucked us. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got some chill music for these chill times. You know, just driving a garbage truck. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Driving, driving a garbage truck with no turning ability. Hi, buds. Let me in. Thank you. Pardon me. Just come here to pick up all your fish guts. Mm-hmm. 
da 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 That was gay. Pain is my middle name. <sighs> so, well, we got rid of the triad home base or something. This is where they're always chilling. So, that's cool. Copyright, uh -huh, uh -huh. give me them copyright. A copyright tonight. <laughs> More copyright strikes. Oh, copyright claims. Gonna make money on videos. I don't make money on. <laughs> oh my god, you fucking did. Two hours passed. Fine. I'll go to freaking. Salvatore, Salvatore, whatever the fuck. Salvatore. Splash! Sorry. Nah. <laughs> oh, whoops, that was an accident. Do 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 do. Oh shit! All right, what about him? <clears throat> Can I do his missions? Yes. Yes, I can. He's not a little bitch with a time schedule. The Colombian cartel is making spank somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. Oh, hell no. To know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. Oh, fucking rat? Curly Bob, more like Curly Snitch. pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. Usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. When you know someone's life so much that you pay attention to how much they're spending regularly. It's like, what? He has more money. He couldn't have picked, picked up a second job. It's bullshit. Me. <sighs> we oh. oh, yep, okay. Alright, that's... Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Can we make love? Uh, uh. <laughs> Shut up. Get out of my way. Oh. That's what you get for running in the middle of the road, triad dumbass. Curly left the club! alone for a minute. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so this time make sure you don't get too I fucking close to his fucking taxi. Always running from something. Next record comes from Dante's Inferno, originally transcribed in Braille to a chaste Belgian monk after he lost his hearing. This powerful feud can overpower the senses, much like a 12 year old nephew who lets you bounce him on your knees one last time. Ew. 
Alberto Adagio. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I literally sat here and the spookometer just kept going up. I. That's stupid. I'm like, everyone saw that. I literally just waited in the spot that they had the little purple mark telling me to wait. And the meter just shot straight up. And so I'm gonna park like super far back this time. After I see the dumbass come out of the fucking club. Because for some reason he was like stuck last time or something and it took him a while to fucking come out. Really? I am trying to do something here. Yeah, just. <sighs> Fuck you, dude. Oh, uh, spookometer, go way up. Hey, look. Look. Not even near the- I'm just trying to get in the car. And I can't. Cause that spooks him, apparently. See? What? <laughs> this is stupid. Anyone who's watching this shit, I'm sorry. This is stupid. This is fucking dumb. Shut up. It's pissing me off. Spookometers goes up. Fucking triad dude's just trying to jack me out of my fucking car while I'm trying to wait for this mission. It's just like, dude, seriously, give me a fucking break, dude. Where is this asshole? No, oh, good for you. You're inbred. Alright, he's coming now, so let me park way back here, like a mile down the road. Yeah, don't get don't get too close. You're usually supposed to trail like a car or two behind, and instead this guy's like, "Oh, you get you get in within ten feet of me, and I see you, and it scares me when I see a black car roll up near me." <laughs> Me. 
shut up. I'm trying not to spook someone, all right? You want to go around? You go around. Quit honking at me. Knowledge is king, man. Here comes our little friend, Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret. I'm Were you followed? No, of course I wasn't. Here's your spank. Squealer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Forellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore has become <laughs> dangerous and paranoid. <laughs> he expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? <laughs> exactly. You're the one he's worried about, dipshit. Like, people like you. And what now? I whack his ass? You've been giving up too much information! <laughs> Get a gun. <laughs> like it was gonna come in handy. How do you even know I was coming? Stupid. Oh shit! Look at it, it's the drugs! It's the slow mo pill drug! Oh snap! <laughs> this is weird when I was a kid, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Slow mo. Alright. Get in the car. And fast mo. <laughs> Just get in the car and you're not drugged anymore. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, well, back to Salvador. <laughs> well, don't know what just happened there, but. Yeah, I'm like, right when it starts catching on fire, you literally have, like, two seconds to get away from there before it just fucking blows. That's a taste of corn on the cob. Alright, get, right, get out of my way. You learn to drive. You're the one driving. I don't know what the fuck she says. No, no, give me Yayo. Got my Yayo. I like how musicians and stuff can sing about drugs and probably do drugs and stuff, but it's like, you know, they're illegal, but you know, whatever. You make enough money, you're cool. You're good. Whoops. Shut up. Quit your honking. Ya honky. <laughs> Tried and tribulations. What's my dumb and yeah, yo? Tim Tim on the flail. You know I mean. sucking dude. <laughs> Ooh. I played the trumpet a lot. Uh, or you were snort. I don't know. That could mean multiple things. Multiple innuendos and shit. 
It's either sex related or you talking about snorting the coke cocaine. I'm guessing you're probably talking about that since the song's talking about yeah, yo and shit. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, I just kind of clipped through the wall right there. Liberty City Survivor. I'm like, what is there to survive here? Unless I'm talking about like gang or shit, but it's not like you're put in a survival situation. Listen, Ooh. get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get them to the bank before mm -mm. five o'clock, not a minute after. I'd definitely rather be the driver in the situation of. A bank robbery. <clears throat> Less chances to get ID. You just wait in the car, you know. And you have an ability to plot out where you want to go on the roads and stuff to find. Like, it'd just be easier to plan if you were the driver and be easier to stay out of sight. So let's do it. I'm ready to ready to drive and. Shake it up. Shake it up. I like how the GPS goes around this road. Like, I'm not gonna just. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. oh stand in it. Gotcha. Oh. Duh. Um, okay, hold on. I'm near Salvatore's. Those cars are pretty quick. They got four seats. I'll go get one of those. Yeah, of course. Of course, there's no cars here. All right. Um. Well. Cause I'm guessing I need a four-seater. That's a two-seater. Not gonna be fast enough. I don't think two-seater. Taxi might do okay. Taxi. Like perfect getaway vehicle. Nobody would ever suspect a taxi waiting around. Ah, uh, yeah. What was this dude listening to? Some. It sounds kind of like that fucking Vitas or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Rock of Liberty City. I'm DJ Michael Hunt. Last weekend, when we were broadcasting live from that food court at the mall, a fan said to me, Fuck off. Why do you always use cheesy cliches? Why don't you say something original for keep the engine running? Be in and out in no time. Okay. I'm here to rock. Rock her up. <laughs> Run in with guns and shotguns. Oh. Oh, I thought he killed the other dudes. I just heard two gunshots. I'm like, oh man. He took out the other robbers. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Is that the plan? Huh. Oh, okay. Alright, just. Yeah, you know, kind of push my ass wherever you want me to go, I guess, you know.
And I'm talking too loud, apparently. Sorry. Watch, it's like, you can't paint a taxi. Or you have to not be seen going in here. I remember back in the day, that's how... <gasps> wow. 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 That's just... Ain't that just fan... Freaking tastic. So, is this a four seater? Give me this fucking. Give me this. Get out of your vehicle. Get out of your vehicle right now. Uh, like, I guess the other dudes are dead. Yeah. Whatever. Don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Well, buddy, at least you made it. One Mafia, man. I guess you get a huge old cut, huh, buddy? <laughs> yeah, sorry the other guys didn't make it, Joey. But you know, like I said, bigger cut for everyone else, right? The kind of stuff that the Mafia worries about is more money. One less body, yeah, well. Nah, no, that's not true, I don't know. I feel like the Mafia are pretty family. I gotta go on vacation. Alright, that's that's good enough for now.